Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the x-ray tube and the different components of the x-ray tube. I'm going to try to keep it short and let's start by talking about the cathode and the anode which are going to be the main players on this. The cathode is going to be negatively charged and the anode is going to be the positively charged component. So they're conveniently labeled C and A here. We have the filament which is going to have the electrons and the filament is going to uh, be heated and we technically boil off electrons of this filament and they're accelerated through this potential towards the anode. They acquire speeds about one-third the speed of light and once they're here this is where the x-ray generation occurs. Now we're going to talk more about that later but here just have in mind that there's a transition between electrons that are subsequently going to be creating photons. So our, our energy and our particles are changing during this process. So when we talk about x-rays, we're really emitting photons, but we're generating them through electrons. So we're going to talk more about that process later. I just want to focus now on the hardware. On the anode, we have what's called the target. And you, ha you see that it's a little bit slanted, and this is for heat dissipation reasons. A lot of this energy is going to be converted into heat and the number is about 99% and only 1% of this is actually going to be useful x-rays. So that's something to have in mind that this system has to deal with a lot of heat and that's why we have different techniques such as this angle for creating heat dissipation. We also have the rotor here which is going to be rotating and the purpose uh, as well as creating a larger surface area and minimizing um, heat from this from this region or from one region. We also have the focal spot which is the, the actual target or the small area on the target that we use to send the, the electrons uh, towards that. And W here is going to be the window where the photons are going to exit and we're going to talk more about that later. Um, so that covers the basic of our x-ray tube and just to recap we have a filament which is going to have electrons we're going to heat that and we're going to this process is going to create thermionic emissions and those electrons are going to go across a potential towards a positively charged anode and this is the process that we use to create x-rays which are photons and just remember that 99% of this is pretty much wasted into heat and then the one the other one percent is the one we're actually able to use